Uh, hello, and uh, so glad to see you in such a number. Uh, this is my first presentation, so go easy on me. Uh, launching your online presence the right way. Uh, my name is Draga Nikolic, as Marco said, and I'm a, and I'm a marketer and a huge fan of WordPress, mostly because, mostly because uh, the community here is uh, so awesome and uh, also because WordPress constantly involves and uh, allows you to shape it the, the way you want and use it for your own needs. So uh, your online presence is your ID. It can, uh, you can use it to showcase your work. To, you can use it as a portfolio or a simple about page that uh, that you can show your future clients, customers, or some users. Or you can use it to uh, launch your business, sell products, sell services. You can also uh, organize events such as uh, this one here. And uh, without my online presence, I would have never gotten the, the opportunity to, to be here right now and speak to you. So uh, how does every online presence start? Well. Uh, Every online presence starts with an idea, and uh, all ideas that you have, and you have them every day, some are bad, some are good, but uh, not all ideas can, uh, can be tra translated into your online presence. You, you need to validate some of them. If, if you want to uh, start your online presence uh, as your personal ID or uh, or something simple, you don't need to validate anything. But uh, if you want to start a business, then uh, you need to spend some uh, money in advance to, to see whether the, the idea will, will uh, whether uh, you will be able to monetize on, on, on that idea. So uh, there are many ways you can do this. You can uh, sign up for uh, Facebook ads, for Google ads, for uh, uh, s create a simple landing page uh, where you will uh, collect subscribers and see if people are interested in what you have to offer and uh, and not spend uh, your time, effort and money later when, when it really counts. If you don't have ideas for your online presence, uh, then you can just search for common problems and uh, try to find solutions. Uh, that's almost the best way to, to start your future business. Uh, all online presence uh, consists of these four things. Uh, I'm sure most of you know this already. So the domain is, uh, where, your, is uh, you, where your branding will revolve around and uh, it can be either your personal name or it can be your business name. Uh, the hosting solution is uh, something where your website will reside and uh, it's really important to be stable and uh, to be located near your future customers or users. There are many platforms you can uh, install, and I suggest WordPress for multiple reasons I'll explain later. And uh, these, the first three are one-time jobs. Uh, well, you have to uh, renew your domain name and uh, pay for hosting, also update WordPress and plugins, but uh, you can consider them one-time jobs. The, the last one, content, is something that's an ongoing process and uh, you need to <coughs> you need to work uh, work on that constantly because uh, that's th that one is uh, directly directly influences your own uh, the value of, of your online presence the domain name is uh, something you buy with the domain registrars and uh, I, I strongly suggest you you create your own account as uh, as your as business owners, I don't advise uh, that you leave this to your developers or designers because you 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 can never know how the relationship will will evolve. Uh, you can uh, you need to maintain the the ownership of your of your domain name at, at all times. And for uh, extension, which is th this little thing dot com, I suggest you always use the most common ones because uh, other ones can be seen as spam and uh, your your website won't be as visited as some uh, websites that use dot uh, com dot net dot org or 
uh, for example, uh, if you are a local company, then uh, you should use uh, that RS, which is a country code top level domain for local businesses. There are several things to consider when creating your domain name and uh, the first one I talked about, the second one is that you should always use a short domain name because it's easier for people to remember to come back later to and uh, n try not to use counterintuitive spelling because uh, it may work for some big companies like Twitter, Tumblr or I don't know some others but uh, they had a lot of investments so that's that's how we, we know how to spell those. Uh, people want, if you're a startup or tr just uh, getting online people won't be able to remember your counterintuitive spelling domain name. Uh, I talked about most common domain extensions so Please don't go crazy about those. Use the most common ones. Once you buy your domain name, uh, you need to create a really nice home for your, for, for your website. And uh, this is where hosting comes in. And uh, with the hosting solutions, you'll, you'll uh, stumble upon some of the worst marketing cliches where uh, hosting offers uh, uh, everything unlimited for almost no price and I, I strongly suggest you, you avoid those kind of hosting uh, companies and I know WordCamp is being sponsored by several hosting companies and there are some good people here you can talk to later if you, if you need hosting for your website or future online presence. Several things to consider when, when buying hosting uh, is uh, that you should never judge hosting by the look of its website because uh, because website is uh, because uh, the d the design of the website doesn't mean that its technical support is okay. Uh, you are not hire you are not buying hosting because of their designers, but because of their engineers. Uh, you should always try their support first. Uh, just uh, contact them ask them several questions, see how they respond, and you'll know if, uh, if, if they can help you later if some problems appear. Uh, don't buy hosting domain, uh, domain and hosting uh, uh, from the same company. It means that I if you do that, it's like putting your all eggs in the same basket and that's something uh, you never want to do. Uh, because if you're not satisfied, satisfied with either, you have to you have to switch companies. Th they can make you problems. If if for example you bought domain from uh, from one company and hosting from that same company, you want to just move your hosting to another one, then some problems may occur. And uh, you can always ask for 30-day money-back guarantee. And I believe this this goes for every service you buy in the future y because you don't want to obligate yourself or or even buy some. Uh, I've seen one year plans where the the price is really discounted uh, discounted uh, you don't want to do that because uh, they're just trying to to get you to buy their service and you you don't even know if it's any good uh, there are some there are four major hosting plans uh, uh, well th there's the fifth one which is free hosting and i don't suggest to use that one because uh, Free ho with, free f with, uh, with free hosting, you almost never possess the content. Uh, it's the, the content you write or produce is always with, uh, with that hosting uh, company. It's not yours. Uh, one example is uh, uh, WordPress.com, which you can use as in the beginning, but I, I always suggest you, you switch to your self-hosted website later because then the content and the value you have uh, for that website is yours. It, it's not theirs. Uh, so that's why the, the free hosting plan didn't make the list. Uh, the first in line I, I can suggest is shared hosting. Uh, it lacks the security of other uh, of other plans because just because you, you're sharing your website uh, on a it's on a server with uh, along with many other websites and. Uh, uh, if one gets infected or something happens, it can easily, you know, uh, y your your website can easily get infected too. Uh, VPS or virtual private server is something that uh, wh where you can install your own operating system on a on a on a plan and just uh, 
separate yourself from from others but but it's virtual and dedicated server uh, is something I suggest for for large websites and with, with uh, large traffic uh, it's the most expensive one has the, the best customer support uh, money can buy and uh, uh, it's it's really the most reliable one uh, now there's another one that's been beca that's becoming quite popular uh, recent uh, that's became quite popular recently and that's uh, managed WordPress hosting where uh, w where you pay people or hosting company to manage your server and uh, they uh, they update the software on it they they install your uh, everything you need for your website they optimize it for speed they take care of security uh, and it uh, it's the most uh, expensive one uh, but uh, whichever hosting you choose if if you're just starting uh, I think you can always go small and then expand or buy uh, much, much, uh, and buy bigger plans uh, when you need them. So uh, make sure your hosting uh, plan is upgradable. After you buy hosting, uh, you need to take care of the the platform for your website, and uh, I suggest WordPress for for many reasons. Uh, well, these are mine. I'm sure there are others. Uh, it's re it's free. It's really easy to install. Uh, most uh, hosting companies offer one-click uh, install scripts where you can just you know press it and it will install install WordPress uh, automatically. <coughs> it's quite stable and secure. And uh, although there there's been many uh, discussions uh, about WordPress security, uh, it's almost always the the human factor that's that's the weakest. Uh, uh, weakest link uh, also some plugins and uh, and themes that haven't been coded with WordPress best practices in mind so uh, I'll talk about it a bit later uh, also the outstanding community which we can all witness here and uh, WordPress is uh, is great for uh, it's it's uh, th it's kind of software that's uh, that has that option of uh, being translated into many languages and Serbian is included. So if you're trying to create a local online presence, you can do that easily. Now, I don't want to bore you with physics, but uh, for, for, every, for everything in our universe, there, there are two theories. And uh, one is, uh, for our universe, is Big Bang Theory. The other is... Uh, deflating universe and uh, I'll explain <laughs> each each of these theories uh, briefly uh, the Big Bang theory states that everything started from singularity and expanded exploded and uh, that's where we are now and the other is deflating universe where it just in a state of flux it's constantly inflating and deflating and uh, it's where we are now but uh, to, to get to where we are now, there are two ways. You can either start from one stable minimal frame, which is, which is that singularity, or you can start with chaos and just uh, strip away things you don't need and, and achieve the same effect. So simplicity is something that gives you power and uh, space and time to, to do the things that you, that you feel are uh, most important and uh, that are important to you and your personal or business website. So for me, I suggest, uh, or for you, I suggest that you start with uh, with uh, official theory and just uh, go with, uh, with the Big Bang Theory, start with one stable minimal frame, which is WordPress, which are WordPress products made with uh, WordPress best practices in mind, and you can find those at WordPress.org, or uh, you can find them from uh, some smaller uh, theme or and plugin uh, shops that are in uh, close relationship with WordPress.org, and you can you can search for those uh, online. Uh, you can just search for WordPress products made with, made with the. WordPress best practices in mind, or just search for a simple uh, WordPress themes and plugins, and uh, it's a great chance that uh, that you'll uh, find the ones I'm talking about. The the other thing uh, is deflating universe, and it's starting from chaos, and this is how it would look like if you start with a 
with uh, with product WordPress products that are uh, bloated, like uh, this flower here. You 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 really need to clip a lot of things to get to to that simplicity, uh, which gives you freedom. So uh, you can you can choose this bloated team with. Uh, with many options and features, for example, but uh, it will give you a lot of power at the cost of security, stability, and uh, you will spend a lot of time deciding between 16 sliders and, uh, I don't know, unlimited color schemes or seven different layouts just for a single blog post. I I suggest you start with this one. It's the it's the most uh, <coughs> it's the, it's the way that uh, the, the way where you start with uh, with a single uh, stable frame is is the best for uh, for your needs because you can always expand it. Uh, and once you do all that and have the the website you want which is uh, simple, minimalist, and uh, easy to, to customize. Uh, you can then uh, switch to content, creating content. And this is important for multiple reasons because uh, content is what, gives you, uh, is what gives your online presence the, your touch, your personal touch. And I'd really like to know how many of you here uh, reads about WordPress on a daily basis or, or, or weekly or monthly, whatever. So a, a lot of you, and how many of you uh, writes about WordPress? Okay, I know some of you, the others I'd like to meet. Uh, there's something called the uh, 1% rule, which, uh, which states that uh, for 1% of creators, 99% uh, are consumers and uh, if you, if you want to be in that one percent, it will give you a, a power a power to to follow your own idea, and it will give you followers so other other people can follow your idea, and uh, it's it's a good way to to start your online presence uh, successfully. Uh, also, if you're in in that one percent, uh, it will give you the the possibility to find your own voice and. Uh, find people who'll, uh, who'll support you. Now creating content, uh, you all know how to write blog posts and uh, maybe create videos, upload them, or, or may, some of you maybe even create podcasts. And uh, uh, we all, well I know for myself, we all focus on one type of content where you can create uh, blog, posts, blog posts out of podcasts by, uh, by transcribing them. Or you can, uh, if you if you create a video, you can also create a blog post out of that. So your your best uh, content can uh, can be uh, transformed into white papers or PDF files, which you can then uh, use for uh, for purposes uh, of uh, allowing people to download them, and you can collect their emails. You can also uh, see if people are. You can also later then target those same people that, uh, that downloaded your PDF files. And those are the people that are really interested in what you have to offer. So always create as, as much content and as much type of content as, as you can. Now, where to put that content? Uh, almost uh, everything you do online can be done on your website or off your website. So your website uh, is your uh, first impression and uh, uh, your blog is what gives him uh, what gives him a life so uh, your website uh, yeah you can start your online presence just uh, by creating your website but uh, it will be like a stuffed animal it, it won't be it won't be it won't be breathing so until you add content and add value to a website every day uh, you won't see any progress with your website. And off-site is the same. You, you just need to be active on, uh, on other websites, maybe leave comments, uh, 
or, or write blog posts, uh, guest, guest posts, or social media. So everything you write on social media is also uh, content that, that contributes to your website. Now, I want to talk about when I when I talk about marketing to people they almost always ask me about SEO and this time I won't talk about SEO because there's so much so much information online already and uh, the reason you're building your website is not for search engines to find it but for people to find it because people are your customers or or visitors or someone who will engage you ask you for advice or maybe hire you for your services and uh, not search engines so uh, that's why again you need content that shows who you are what you do uh, you also need to make your website as usable and accessible as possible and you'll achieve that by using themes that that use wordpress best practices and you have to be open in that in that way that uh, people can uh, learn about you by by reading your content and uh, learn about your expertise same thing goes for your off-page uh, marketing. Uh, you, again, you need, uh, you need content to do that. You need to be open and friendly. You need to go to conferences like this one. You need to engage uh, people on, on social media. And uh, the reviews people, and we, reviews are, uh, it can be reviews, it can be stuff people talk about you offline or off-page. It also contributes to your marketing efforts. So. I, I strongly suggest you focus on people and not search engines when you when you start and uh, when you start with your, your online presence, be it your uh, personal uh, online presence or business. Done is better than perfect is an old saying, <coughs> an old maxim that uh, that stands for all of us who like to procrastinate and uh, just tweak things endlessly until they're perfect. And that never happens, so our projects never get finished. So uh, it's always better to, to do something and just uh, complete the, the whole process than to, than to tweak things, uh, choose themes that have uh, millions of options and just tweak them until you think it looks perfect. It's always better to, to just uh, to create things than to uh, customize them. Because I believe uh, WordPress products and uh, software in general is not made for uh, customizing. It's made for, for, for using. So you should just use it to your advantage, not uh, spend time customizing it. And running your business or online presence the simplest way uh, gives you freedom to be creative and to manage things easily. And uh, uh, again, content is should be your main focus because that's what people come back for. Search engines also, but uh, it's not search engines you're after. So create more, consume less, uh, be focused, friendly, supportive. Uh, don't build your online presence on top of chaotic systems like uh, bloated WordPress themes and, and and plugins because you'll end up searching for the purgatory. WordPress uh, levels the field for all online publishers, so uh, you should use that to your advantage uh, because uh, if you find ideas that, that are worth spreading, uh, I believe you should uh, spread them online and uh, each one of you, I believe, has some, some idea worth spreading. So there's no reason why you shouldn't go for it. So the essence is you and your message. That's, the, that's something you should remember. And uh, to close this presentation uh, with a question, is there one right way to launch your presence online the right way? And, and I think there is, and that's just launch it. Thank you.